Happy Freaks Day. And Hayley, happy birthday. Hello, now this reading is specifically for my sister for her birthday. And uh, make of the, <laughs> the poem um, what you will. Now it is from the Poetic Edda, as translated by Carolyn Larrington, and it is the third poem of Gudrun. Herkia was the name of one of Atli's serving maids. She had been his mistress. She told Atli that she had seen Gudrun and Theodrek together. Atli was very upset. Then Gudrun said, What's the matter, Atli? Always, son of Budli, you're downcast. Why do you never laugh? It would seem better to the warriors that you should speak to people and look at me. It grieves me, Gudrun, daughter of Gaiuki, what Herkia told me in the hall, that you and Theodrek slept under one coverlet and made yourselves comfortable in the bed linen. I'll swear you oaths about all this by the sacred white stone that with Theodmar's son I never did anything which a lady and man ought not to do together. Just once only did I embrace the battle leader, the blameless prince, but quite other was our conversation when we two, grief-stricken, spoke privately together. Theodrek came here with thirty men. Not one of them lives now out of thirty men. I am deprived of my brothers, of corslet-wearing men, deprived of all my closest kin. Summon Saxi, the prince of the southerners. He knows how to hallow the boiling cauldron. Seven hundred men entered the hall before the king's lady dipped her hands in the cauldron. Gunnar will not come now. I do not call for Hogney. I shall not ever again see my sweet brothers. With a sword, Hogney would avenge such an insult. Now I must purge this accusation myself. She stretched her bright hands down to the bottom, and there she seized the precious stones. Look now, warriors. Acquitted am I by the sacred test. How this cauldron bubbles. Then Atli's heart laughed with him when he saw Gudrun's hands all whole. Now Herkia shall go to the cauldron, she who hoped to slander Gudrun. Everyone who watched, watched wretchedly how Herkia's hands were scolded. They led the girl away into a foul bog. Gudrun got recompense for her wrong. Thank you.